Hello everyone, my name is Chloe and today I am here with a brand new video. Welcome to Brunette Bibliophile where I post bookish videos and writing content. Today I am here to do a tag video. Today we are doing the Get to Know the Romance Reader book tag. While I don't exclusively read romance, it is probably about 85% of what I read. So this seems like a perfect tag to do. And there are 10 questions. So we're just going to jump right in and get started. Question number one, what is your romance origin story? How you came to read your first romance novel? So while this is definitely probably not my first romance ever, the first romance book that I read that got me really into adult rom-coms was 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. I've told this story before, but it was recommended to me by Desiree from Libri Labra, and I remember I had it from the library, like on Libby, and I was reading it in line at Disney World. But what really got me into romance and rom-coms was actually the next book I read after 99% Mine, which was The Hating Game, also by Sally Thorne, which is one of my favorite romance books of all time. And I started it right after finishing 99% Mine, also at Disney World. Question number two, if you could be the heroine in a romance novel, who would be the author and what's one trope you'd insist be in the story? So I think if you asked me a couple of days ago, I would have said something along the lines of maybe Emily Henry or Christina Lauren or Sally Thorne. Oh, actually, hold on. I was going to give a different answer, but now I think I'm changing that answer. Maybe Allie Hazelwood. And the trope, I bounce between two. I really like enemies to lovers, but I also also like friends to lovers too. So either one of those is fine. Question number three, what is a romance you've read this year that you want more people to read? So it is still very early in the year, so I'll actually go back to one I've read within the past year. And one that really blew me away was Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. I read this when I was reading the romance nominees for the Goodreads Choice Awards. I will link that vlog in the description below. But that definitely became one of my new favorite books. It was amazing and I had such a good time with that one. Question number four, what is your favorite romance subgenre? What subgenre have you not read much from? I really just like contemporary romances or like rom-coms. Something that I don't read a lot of is historical romances. I know those are also really popular, but the only extent of historical romance that I really read is like Bridgerton, and I'm still not even done with that series. Question number five, who is one of your auto buy romance authors? Allie Hazelwood, for sure. The Love Hypothesis started as just something I picked from Book of the Month, and when I read it, it blew me away. Now I own four copies. Her second novel, Love on the Brain, somehow I also ended up with four copies very early on after it had been released. And I just love all of her work. Question number six, how do you typically find romance recommendations? It depends. I don't actively seek out looking for them. But a lot of the times I see them on Goodreads, or sometimes although not as often I'll see them on Amazon under the like recommended for you. Question number seven, what is an upcoming romance release you're excited for? Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. Her past two books have destroyed me and I have no doubt that this one also will. And I also will probably end up with four copies of it like I have with all her other books. Question number eight, what is one misconception about romance you would like to lay to rest? So I don't particularly have this misconception, but something that I've seen going around on TikTok is like the oh, you read romance? I like Nicholas Sparks too. Or, oh, you read romance? That's so cute. But like in reality, it's like dirty romance or just straight smut. It's not really a misconception. It's just really funny to me. Question number nine, who is the most recent romance reading content creator you came across that you would like to shout out? This is not a new content creator, but I did discover her channel a couple of years ago after I met her at BookCon, and it is Madison Mary from Princess of Paperback. She has a good amount of romance content both on YouTube and TikTok that is enjoyable to watch. And question number 10, if someone had never read a romance before and asked you to recommend the first three romances that come to mind as places to start, what would those recommendations be? The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, Beach Read by Emily Henry, 
and The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. Those are the first three that come to mind, but I could probably also recommend Abby Jimenez or Christina Lauren or I don't even know who else. So that is everything that I have for you all today and the Get to Know the Romance Reader book tag. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you like what you see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every week, so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. And if you really like my content, consider checking out my Patreon linked in the description below. Also, if you watch this video, leave an emoji in the comments below. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! In the darkness, I don't feel so